Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Kenya. Hello, Alma. Hello, Rebecca. Good evening. How are you today? Um, yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, good to see you. I can see Alma, I can see Rebecca. Well, congratulations because you are on time. Uh, you know, it's quite important uh, to your assistance. And, um, and it's very important that, that you get into the class on time, okay? I don't know if you could okay. see the, the message in, in WhatsApp. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I, I see. You, I see you, you saw it, right? <laughs> okay, you saw it. So, take it, in, take it into consideration. Hello, Irving. Good evening. Irving. Good evening. Julio Cesar, hello. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hope you are having a good time. Hello, Norma. Buenas noches, teacher. Okay, good evening. Okay, I'm still waiting for the rest. Okay, I hope that you are ready to start with the, with the class tonight. But um, let us wait a little bit for the rest of the participants, because I need to talk to you about the assistance, okay? The list attendance. And also about um, the importance of getting into the class on time. Well, I wonder if you um, could work in the humble assignment. Yeah, you did. You were in charge of creating um, a story, right? Hello, Carlos Ernesto. Remember about um, the agreements that we talked about at the beginning. So it's very important for me to see you. Activate your camera. If you don't have any problem with it, it's very important. Okay, to see you in the class. Uh, Julio, Norma, Carlos, and Wilson. I can see Wilson in the class. Okay, so do me the favor to activate your, your camera, people. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's better. Norma is trying to activate her camera. Carlos, uh, Norma, Wilson, Rebecca. Okay, let's wait a little bit for the rest of the of your classmates. Now that's better, Carlos. That's better. Okay, I hope that you are more than ready to start with the new class. Yesterday, we were talking about pronunciation of regular verbs in, in past form. Uh, I can see there is some, there's a person that's trying to get into the class. That's Alba Luz. Hello, Alba. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Teacher, no, voy a, no voy a poder poner la cámara porque me saca de su. Tengo un interno un poco malo. All right. So, but stay there. Okay. Try to pay attention to everything in the class. And try to work as much as possible, all right? Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. I have uh, eight people connected. I'm still waiting for the rest. Okay, meanwhile, the rest of the people um, uh, gather in, the, in this class. We are going to start talking about the different stories, right? Stories that you looked for stories that you prepared for us to um to listen to 
And later, we are going to continue talking about some other verbs that are regular. I mean, we, we, we talked about regular verbs, and tonight we're going to continue talking about irregular verbs. In the WhatsApp group, I share um, two links about uh, verbs, verbs in English, and I have a homework for you to be working on for next week. And let's see, let us start. Well, tonight we're going to start talking um, about the different stories you have created. Okay, I have Reina. Reina, hello. Jose Luis, Gloria. Hello. Hello, hello. So, are you there, right? Okay, okay. Jose Luis, can you listen to me now? Yeah, tell me. Uh, okay, do me the favor to activate camera, please. Ah, okay. Same to, to Jorge. Good evening. Teachers okay. are classmates. Okay, good evening, Jorge. Good evening. Uh, now I can see you and that's better. Hey, listen, I, I have uh, 16 people. Now, and I need to talk to you, but uh, uh, let us wait a little bit more so that the majority of you can uh, get connected to this class. I have Christopher Raul. Hello, Christopher. Hello. I have Diana Gabriela. Hello, Diana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So... Uh, now I have a uh, seventeen people. Let us let us get down to business, okay? Before starting, I need to talk to you about the importance of getting connected to the class um early, okay, on time. And also, I was just checking the list of attendance, and I could see that some of you are not just um staying the whole hour in the class, and you know, an hour in the class um. But we only spend like 60 minutes over here uh, daily from Monday through Thursday. And that's it, right? So um, I, I will switch into Spanish for a while because... Hi, this... teacher. Hey, Cecil, good to see you over here. Now, I will talk to you a little bit. Now, I have the majority of you in the class. That's that's quite good. Okay, uh, I have Susana Isabel also. So do me a favor to activate camera, Susana, because that's important. Okay. And also I have Iris Elizabeth. Hello, Iris. Hello, teacher. Hello. All right. Now I have 22 people connected and you are 30, right? So that means that um, eight people are missing, but I will, I will start now. Listen, I will switch into Spanish. Uh, because now the majority of you are over here. Me voy a cambiar un ratito al español. Ok, me, las disculpas del caso, pero quiero que, que quede claro lo, lo, lo que les voy a decir. Fíjense que para inglés corporativo es sumamente importante que ustedes asistan a todas las sesiones si es posible. Eh, lo mínimo que esperamos de con respecto a su asistencia es un 80%, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, eh, la sugerencia es de que siempre se conecten y aparte de eso, que se conecten a tiempo. Ok, yo me conecto unos tres minutos antes. Ok, algunos de ustedes ya están conectados y eso está muy bien. Pero hay algo que no sé si ustedes lo, lo sabían, pero este... Cuando ustedes se conectan acá, este, Zoom empieza a, a, a registrar el tiempo que ustedes también eh, se quedan en la clase. Y recordemos que el tiempo son 60 minutos. Entonces esos 60 minutos, a menos que ustedes no tengan este, alguna dificultad con internet o, o con algún aspecto técnico, pues es necesario que se mantengan conectados. Porque de lo contrario, pues ahí les va apareciendo en, en su registro de asistencia y de tiempo eh, 
en la clase, pues ahí va quedando registrado. Entonces el llamado es a que nos conectemos a tiempo y que pues disfrutemos de 60 minutos que vamos a estar acá, ¿verdad? Participando como siempre lo hacen. Eh, he notado que algunos entran despuesito de, de que la hora, este, de que la clase ha comenzado y por eso es que en su registro de, de asistencia aparece que no, no ha estado la hora completa en la sesión. Entonces, este, háganme el favor y hagan si ustedes también el favor de entrar eh, a tiempo y quedarse la hora completa, por favor. Se los voy a agradecer mucho y ya van a ver que pues también ustedes, si entran desde un inicio, van a estar como más conectaditos con, con la temática, con, con lo que se está haciendo en la clase. Eh, recordemos que también es necesario activar la cámara para poder tener algún contacto visual con ustedes. Y a menos que tengan alguna dificultad con el internet, pues es comprensible. Pero de lo contrario, creo que es sumamente importante que, que puedan activar sus cámaras. All right. So, let's start. Let's start. Now, yes, right. You, you were in church of uh, presenting homework assignment, right? About a story you investigated. If you want to present... Let me see something that you created in, in PowerPoint that would be all right. Otherwise, well, if you will only want to speak, you can do it also. I will ask for only five volunteers, only five. One, two, three, four, and five people. I need five people. You see, Alma is, is willing to. Alma is uh, participating all the time. Okay, Alma. Okay, everybody, pay attention because this is important because we are practicing English. After Alma, we are going to continue with Carlo. Okay, let us listen to Alma, please. Teacher, solo que yo lo busque en internet por el tiempo. It's all right. Okay, ahorita lo, lo leo. Uh, I was in my house when suddenly I scared on my own shadow. This is not new for me. I'm very afraid for everything. But today, when I went into my car, I got super scared for a snake on my chair. So I took the snake killer, killer spray and sprayed it to it. I guess that the snake was defeat, defeated by me and I feel like a hero. <laughs> You felt like a hero. Very good, Alma. Very good. A really nice story. You know, it's very, it's a short story. And uh, I, congratulations, because I can see that you were participating. Okay. You were uh, practicing and, and because you are participating now. Carlos, go ahead with your story. I write a story about the activities I, 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 I made. The last Saturday. Ah, okay. Maybe, you... uh, Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, Carlo. The last Saturday, I, I woke up at 7 a.m. and take a shower. After that, I prepare my backpack and go to the university to make an exam. And later, I go to Chalate to participate in the maize festival and taste some good food. All right, very good. Okay, Carlos, uh, check check the especially check the verbs. If the verbs are in past simple past, that's all right because remember, we are talking about simple past tense. Okay. Okay, Carlos, check it, please. Thank you very much. Then I have, let me see, um, Alba, and after Alma we have Kenya. Alba, right? Al Alba Luz. Okay. Um, teacher, I can say two paragraphs from the Cinderella story. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Cinderella lived is a small beer. No, no me quedó mucho tiempo de, de, para repasar la pronunciación, así que según yo comprendo. Uh, okay. Eh, 
Dice Cinderella lived, lived in a small village in the north of England. She had two sisters. They were very hungry. She got, got up every morning at six o'clock. Then she made breakfast for her sister. And afterwards, she cleaned, cleaned, cleaned the house. She worked all day. Her two only sister were very lazy. They never did any work because Cinderella did everything, everything. Cinderella was very unhappy. Más o menos. Yeah. Okay, really good. Uh, everybody knows about the story of Cinderella, right? And there was a really nice information. Then we have Kenya. Uh, yes, the chief teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. I am talking about never too late to learn. George Dawson was a sexual man. Was he famous? No, he wasn't. He was just an ordinary man who did something extraordinary. George Dawson lived in three centuries from 1898 to 201. He was born in Texas, the grandson of slaves. At that time, there were Fair opportunities for, for African Americans. Dawson was the oldest of five children. His family was very poor, so yours had to work to help his, his family. He started working for his father when he was only four years old. As a result, he didn't have a chance to get an education. He didn't learn to read and write. He designed his name with an X. When Dawson was 98 years old, he decided to go to school. He wanted to learn to read and write. He went to adult literacy classes. The teacher asked him, do you know the alphabet? When he answered, no. His teacher was a surprise. Over the next few years, his teacher taught Dawson to read and write. Dawson said, Every morning I get up and I wonder what I meet Claire that day. Richard Lambam read an article about Dawson in the newspaper and wanted to meet him. Glauman helped Dawson write a book about Dawson's life called Life is So Good. Dawson was 102 when the book was published. Dawson grow about what make, makes a person happy. He learned from his father to see the good things in life. They had a close family and yours never felt lonely, Dawson say in the book. People worry too much. Life is good just the way it is. Was George, George Dawson a success? He definitely, definitely was. He enjoyed, he enjoyed life and accomplished, accomplished, accomplished his goal, learning to read and write. That's okay, it. he learned how to read and how to write. Yeah. Quite good. Okay, now listen, people. Uh, the purpose, you know, when we are uh, assigned a homework assignment, 
there are certain parts uh, that are uh, quite necessary for you to, to check, especially pronunciation, right? Because since we have been studying about the three different pronunciations of regular verbs, uh, we need to put them into practice, okay? So if we say add, for example, add, what is the platform for add? The verb add. Add? What is the platform for add? Add? Add did. Did. Yeah, add, add did. If I say accomplish, Accomplish, uh, accomplished. Ajá, que right. ese, ese lo, lo, lo busqué y sentí que sonaba con T. Yeah, that's right, Kenya. Yeah, accomplish, accomplished. Accept. Accepted. Etc. Right, so, but the, the purpose is, my point is that whenever you go uh, whenever you work in a homework assignment, try to uh, practice. I mean, I can see that, that you were practicing, right? But you have to practice it as many times as possible to repeat the word. And if you are not sure, if you're not sure about how to pronounce a word, you can you can um, surf the internet and, and get, for example, Google Translator. Then you type the word, you type the word, and then you click in the icon for getting the pronunciation of the verb. That's quite good. Okay, very good. Now, I think we're going to move on. We're going to continue. Okay, ah, something that something else that I want you to, to do is to complete everything. Oh, give me one second, please. To complete all of the activities, okay, all of the activities in the platform, okay. Now, okay. give me one second. It is not this one. It is the other one. This is for you. Okay, and now yes, right? Now, yesterday we started with this uh, information. Okay, it's about uh, irregular verbs uh, because, you know, uh, we are going to learn how to form positive, negative, and if it is possible, interrogative statements by using simple past with irregular verbs. Okay, now we discovered that the all of the regular verbs um, are ended in it form, right? If I say one, wanted, add, added, except, accepted, uh, erased, erased, uh, clean, cleaned, um, etc. Right? You, you see, there are a lot of verbs, and um, uh, many of them are regular, but we also have irregular verbs. Okay, and in this part, we're gonna see, or we're going to practice once again about, about some of them. For example, the pass of do is? Did. 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 Okay, the past of get is? Got. 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 The past of go? When. 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 The past when. of meet met. Met. is met. 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 The past of came, uh, but come. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. This class is going to form past the statements. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. In the past, using irregular verbs. Simple. Okay, now I just want you to see the image, right? So meet, met, come, came, have, had. All right. Oh. So and there are many verbs, irregular verbs. Okay, that you have. Yesterday I told you, right, that for regular verbs there is a key that all of them are ended 
or ends in ed. Okay, but with irregular verbs, the key to learn them is um, that you have to learn them by heart. All right, there is no other choice. Mm -hmm. para, para los verbos regulares, ya todos identificamos que el pasado, todos terminan en ed. Ok, todos. Y hay tres pronunciaciones, ¿verdad? Dependiendo eh, cómo finalice la, la, el sonido del verbo. Pero con los irregulares tenemos la, la dicha de enfrentarnos a un reto, que es aprendérselos de memoria. Memori memorizar. Mientras más verbos puedan, identifiquen y se memoricen, es mejor. Ok, porque eso nos, eso les va a ayudar a que, a que su, cuando ustedes hablen en inglés, no estén buscando tanto, digamos, o utilizando una herramienta para ver cómo se dice tal palabra o tal verbo en inglés, en presente o en pasado. Luego vamos a ver qué es un pasado participio, pero eso ahorita, pues, no, no lo vamos a estudiar. Ahorita solo queremos saber cuáles son los verbos en presente y en pasado. Okay, regulares e irregulares. Now we're going to see this video once again so that we can notice about the information. Okay, we started yesterday as a review. Past statements. Give me Irregular. One Hi, everyone. Give me one second from the very beginning. Okay, here we go. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did, Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb 
in the present do finally we add the complement laundry now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums No se escucha, teacher. Okay. No, sí. uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Now, listen. Uh, we're going to follow, we're going to follow uh, directions, okay, in the video, and we're going to create some sentences by using uh, irregular verbs. Okay, so you are, you are in charge of creating five statements that are positive in past and five statements that are negative. But using different verbs, okay? But especially irregular verbs. Okay, so do me the favor to work on that. You can work in a word in a word document and later you can share your statements. Van a trabajar en la creación de cinco oraciones positivas y cinco oraciones negativas. Okay. Lo pueden trabajar en un documento Word para que cuando les les um, les solicite su participación puedan mostrar las, las oraciones eh, a, a todos los participantes, ¿ok? Uh, we have like 10 sentences, so you're going to have like 10 minutes, ¿ok? 10 minutes. Eh, van a tener 10 minutos, pero asegúrense que manejan la pronunciación de las oraciones y de los verbos, por supuesto, ¿ok? 10 minutes from now on. 10 minutos desde ahora. Take advantage of time. En pasado, ¿verdad? Okay. E exactly. Simple past, people. Positive statements, negative statements, and the right pronunciation of the verbs, especially the verbs, okay? If you wish, you can combine, right? What we studied yesterday, regular verbs with irregular verbs. But try to use different ones, different verbs uh, from the ones that we have uh, studied in the class. Teacher, con verbos regulares y también irregulares, ¿verdad? Yeah, you can, you can use both, okay? okay. Work in a Word document so that you can share the information later.
Teacher, excuse me. Eh, ¿Cuántas oraciones serían? In sentences, sector. Okay. Negative. Five positive and five negative. Okay. Thank you. Five minutes more, then you will share your work. Okay, remember to practice pronunciation also. If it is regular or irregular, anyways, you, you have to know uh, the way to pronounce the verbs.
One minute more. All right, so 10 minutes are uh, gone. Uh, let me see. Uh, I need I need some of you to participate and share the sentences you you created or you looked for in the internet. And I will start with Cecibel. I don't know if you are ready. Rebecca, are you ready, Rebecca? Teacher. Tell me, Hector. Puedo ser volunteer. Up, oh, yeah, sure. If you Pero want que, to start. Compartir. Ah, aquí es para, para compartir pantalla, teacher. Yeah, try, Hector. Share the screen, please. Very good. Can I see? Yeah. You... Okay. Entonces, lo hacer zoom para que pueda ver mejor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope everybody can see it also. Okay. Ahí está bien? Yeah, it's all right. Okay, teacher. Bueno, first, years ago, I liked to play soccer. Uh, okay, stop there, please. Okay. Stop. Stop there. Now, what is the pronunciation for like? In the past, like it? No, no. Who who wants to help him? Le vamos a ayudar entre todos, pero quiero escuchar a los demás que le ayuden con pronunciación también. Quien quien quiera ayudar lo puede hacer, ¿ok? Okay, teacher. Ajá. So years ago, I. To play soccer. I like. I like. Remember about pronunciation, to people. Play I, I like, like to play soccer. Yeah, I like. But remember, the pronunciation is like a T at the end. I like to. I like to play soccer. I like acuérdense to play que, soccer. Acuérdense que el sonido, sonido voiceless. Ayer estudiamos que son los sonidos voiceless y los voiced. Eh, cuando es voiceless, automáticamente sabemos que es sonido T. Ok. I like to play soccer. All right, let's continue, please. Let's continue. Let's continue, please. Continuemos. Hector. Perdón, teacher. Perdón, me he el micrófono. Ah, okay. Okay, Hector. Pues por lo que entendí, entiendo que es years ago, I like it. No, so, no, no, Héctor. I like it, no, I like. Mm. I, I like to play. Hey, listen, maybe uh, when pronouncing, you have to take into consideration the next letter. Tomen, tomen en consideración la siguiente palabra. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos un infinitivo que es tú. Quiere decir que si el, el sonido termina con T, I like el pasado de like es light en, tiene que terminar con sonido T entonces no vamos a decir years ago I liked to, no, así no sino que vamos a, a pronunciar una sola T, I like to play soccer I like to play soccer okay. All right? ok Héctor go years, ahead years ago I liked to play soccer that like. sounds better that okay. sounds much better ok, before 
I am afraid to dark. I went to eat tacos a la tambora. Uh -huh. I I pupusas for breakfast. All right. I walk it. Uh, walk it. No, no. Walk is similar to walk is similar to like. How do you pronounce that verb? Walk. I walk it. Walked. Ah, walk. I walked five kilometers before the pandemic. Okay. I walk five kilometers before the pandemic. Uh huh. Before I like it. Fly, light. Light. Fly new I don't. I could swim before. I didn't play video games before. I have not traveled the world. I did not get tickets for Ricardo Arjona. Okay, what's the problem with have not traveled? Okay. Is, is that past? Is pasado I have not traveled? The I word? Think, no. Okay, correct it, please. Sí, sorry. I, I I did I did not travel and, and remember that eh, the ed at the end it's omitted. Cuando tenemos did le vamos a quitar la ed al, al verbo si es regular, okay? Thank you, okay. thank you, Victor. You did a great job. Thank you, teacher. All right, uh, I can see. Sure. Tell me, Christopher. Can I participate? Sure, you can participate. Okay, teacher. Thank you, uh, Hector. I share my screen and screen. Yeah. Uh, Gracias. Gracias, Hector, por haber compartido. Le vamos a dar el espacio a Christopher para que él pueda compartir también. Okay, people. The purpose is for you to uh, learn how to write down sentences in past, positive and negative, but also to notice about the way they are pronounced. I mean, the verse, the way the verse are pronounced. Teacher, I cannot. You can't. No puedes empezar a compartir la pantalla mientras el otro participante está compartiendo. Creo que tiene que darle la guía a compartir. Ok. Ahí está. Ah, no, yes, Christopher, go ahead, please. Ahora sí, me deja. Yeah, no, no, you are sharing this to your screen. Okay, ahora sí me ven. Ven a. Yes. Yeah, ahí está. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. I did my activities of the day. Okay. I went to the store. He went to the airport. Don increase. Hack apart. I had a motorcycle L6 of Yamaha, but now I have R1. All right. Felipe didn't have a Ducati Monster 815cc, but he had a Ducati Monster 915cc. Chris didn't go to Colombia. Lupita didn't rule in the morning. I didn't do exercise in the morning, but I do exercise in the night. All right, you do exercise at night. At night, at night. Yeah, yeah. that's right, very okay. good. Okay. Excellent, very good, that was fantastic. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, yeah. thanks for sharing. I could see that Kenya wanted to participate and also Julio. I saw Julio's sentences in the chat and uh, yeah. you see. No. Teacher, solo aprieta el botón compartir pantalla. Yeah, that's right, okay. Kenya. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Ah, ya, ya vi que no podía ver el botón de hablar. Teacher, yo le entendí que eran cinco oraciones con verbos regulares y otras cinco con verbos irregulares. Abs it's all right. Sí. Good. Good. It's, it's all right. Okay. Uh, sentence regular sentence. She talked so much about you. I played soccer yesterday. I wanted a new car this year. I studied English online at home. He closed the, the window. Uh, irregular sentences. I read a letter last week. I wrote my homework in the computer. I fell in love in love last year. I learned how to drive four months ago. I taught how to write to my little sister. Wow. Excellent. Excellent, Kenya. Excellent. Just keep uh, keep working on on, on some other um, verbs, and let's continue practicing pronunciation. Thanks. Pretty good, Kenya, you are improving. Okay, and also Julio, Julio wanted to participate, right? Teacher, para quitar lo de compartir? Don't worry, I, I will do it now. Ah, okay, gracias. Okay. Now yes. Now I wonder if Julio is ready now. Otherwise, um, yeah. yeah, Julio, go ahead. Get away. Mm -hmm. The mira. Yeah. We can see it, Julio. Eh, las negativas. And I did not play soccer. You didn't have ride a bike. She did not study for exam. He didn't play the guitar. We didn't sleep every night. In the affirmative sentence, um, play video games in the afternoon. You cook cooked chicken in my house. He dried for the beach yesterday. Number four, we drink water in the in the restaurant. And number five, she worked in the weekend. She worked. She worked in the week. In the week. Hey, there are two problems out there. Who wants to help me with the with the sentence number three and number four? ¿Quién me ayuda a corregir algún detallito en la en la oración tres y cuatro? El pasado de the drive is and the and the uh, sentence is affirmative. Is drown. Drown. Drive. Okay. drive, el pasado es drop. Verb, irregular verb. Drop. Yeah, that's irregular. Drop. And what about number four? ¿Y qué drunk. Sucede? Okay, el pasado de drive es drunk. drunk. Okay, yeah. you need to be, you need to be uh, very concentrated. Okay, thank you, Alma. I can see that you are, uh, thank you. Thank you, people. Hey, now let's see. I will try to, I, I don't know, I will try to finish. I can see that there is one person participating in the chat. That's um, Alma. Okay, and Alma already uh, presenting so, some sentences. I finished reading a book. I sent a message. You ate hamburgers. My dad drank beer. I bought a small present. 
And then she presented also her negative, her negative statements. I didn't break a glass. I didn't, uh, I didn't wake late. I didn't watch a movie. I didn't learn how to play the guitar and I didn't travel. Very good. That was fantastic. Great job. Hey, listen, uh, I will challenge you to do something uh, with the story you, you, um, you created, you looked for. Le voy a dejar dos tareas, ¿ok? Una de ellas es que con las oraciones que han buscado, eh, incluyan algunas en la historia que buscaron. De alguna manera que le encuentren este, la lógica y que le incluyan las oracioncitas que ustedes crearon ahora. No todas, ¿ok? Porque se les va a dificultar, pero por lo menos que le, que le varíen algo a la historia y que dejen claro que también... Ustedes van a usar su creatividad para que esa historia de alguna manera tome otro rumbo con esas oraciones que ustedes crearon, ¿ok? Esa es una. La otra es que necesito para... Eso, eso va a ser este, un trabajo a largo plazo porque los verbos pues son muchos y seguramente no vamos a alcanzar a, a cubrirlos todos, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos que se estén aprendiendo que unos... Cinco o siete verbos diarios estaría magnífico. De esa manera lo, lo van a poder, van a ir um, visualizando sus avances. Ok, cada vez que ustedes aprenden cinco palabras nuevas, su vocabulario se enriquece y pues se les va a ser más fácil aprender inglés. Entonces, um, tienen esas dos tareas, ¿verdad? Una es modificar su historia. Ok, con las oraciones que crearon ahora. Y la otra es aprenderse cuántos verbos ustedes consideren necesarios diarios. Yo estoy poniendo una meta de siete verbos. Pues si usted quiere aprenderse diez, pues mucho que mejor. ¿Verdad? Si usted quiere ir un poquito más lento con su aprendizaje, pues aprenda si unos cinco. Pero traten de ser constantes con, con su aprendizaje. Ok, no se queden, eh, no se van a quedar estáticos. Con, con el aprendizaje del idioma porque eso no les va a funcionar inglés es de lunes a domingo aunque no estemos conectados pero si usted quiere avanzar y realmente uh, quiere ver los frutos eh, con mucha más rapidez dedíquese a estudiar de lunes a domingo verdad quizás hagan un espacio el sábado o el viernes perdón sábado y domingo un tiempo donde ustedes digan, bueno, yo me voy a poner a estudiar eh, algo más referente a lo que vimos en la clase con el teacher. O si usted quiere estudiar otra cosa, pues asegúrese que lo está aprendiendo bien. ¿Ok? Es lo único que yo les voy a solicitar. Que, que se aseguren que sí lo están aprendiendo de la manera correcta. ¿Ok? Porque eh, resulta que viernes, sábado y domingo no puedo estar con ustedes, pero ya el lunes sí entramos con con otras actividades, ¿ok? Eh, nos vamos a ir despidiendo. No sé si hay alguna pregunta, alguna observación. No questions, teacher. No questions. Les hago el llamado que, por favor, el día de mañana se conecten a tiempo, que estén listos con la tarea. Vamos a empezar, pues, con, con la historia nuevamente. Y, para... diga, Irving. O Jorge, no sé quién quiere participar. Va a pasar lista, sí. teacher. Eh, ya les pasé sure. lista. Solo voy a chequear eh, algunos. Eh, teacher, que... yo tengo una duda nada más. Ok, José Enrique. Eh, con lo de la plataforma. Es, lo que es de la oración es solo es de, de, de formarla sin añadir nada, ¿verdad? O es de añadirle algún verbo. Lo de la última. Lo de la última, permítame. Sería la cuatro punto... ¿Qué le digo? Cuatro punto ocho, profe. La 4.8, espérenme. No, quiero ver. Ahorita le digo. La 4.8 es, es el video. Es el 4.9, creería yo. 4.12. Vale, entonces. Yo estaba vivo, lo hubieras angoloteado más. 4.12. Sí, va vale, ahí. Lo que ustedes tienen que visualizar. Eh, si es una pregunta, ustedes ya saben que tienen que usar el auxiliar. Ajá. Si no hay, si no hay, si es oración positiva, usted tiene que usar el verbo en, en su forma de pasado. 
Solo son, eh, quiero ver, es cuatro, una pequeña ¿verdad? conversación, ¿verdad? Cuatro, es sí. lo único, es lo único. Entonces usted va a completar con el verbo en su forma. En, en, la primera, en la primera es una pregunta, entonces ya usted ya sabe que ahí hay que colocar el auxiliar. El auxiliar. Ajá, lo mismo en la conversación 2 y lo mismo en la conversación 3. 3 y 4, oh. que son cuatro conversaciones. Ok, ese era nada más mi duda. Ok, ok. okay. Eh, ya les pasé lista, eh, chicos, no se preocupen. Este... Sí. Ya, ya, este, ya, ya tengo acá que por lo menos Katherine no la vi en clase, Katie tampoco, Salvador tampoco lo visualicé y no, no visualicé a Silvia. De ahí los demás todos estuvieron presentes y este, espero verles mañana. Ok. 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 Good night, teacher. Good, good night, night everyone. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, good night, good night, good night teacher. Okay, good, good night. night. Good night, good night.